Norak langkah ke alam perniagaan pada usia muda berbekalkan kecekalan dan dedikasi. Vivi belajar untuk berdiri di atas kaki sendiri. Penat lelahnya berhasil apabila perniagaan yang diusulkan dengan keringatnya kini menjadi empire fashion yang disegani. Kali ini, demi seorang sahabat bernama Asma yang amat dirindui, Vivi nak buat kejutan. Siap masuk dapur lagi, bertungkus lumus buat kek. Dan ada lagi kejutan lain, Vivi bakal berkongsi tips keusahawanan fashion bersama bakal-bakal graduan Fashion University Lim Kok Wing. Sama-sama kita saksikan. Dua kawan rapat yang memang saya sangat rapat lah. Every day kita orang call, WhatsApp semua. Adrina and Asma. Asma ni dia fashion designer. She's very busy. So dia selalu travel ke sini sana. And dia travel ke kadang seminggu, dua minggu. So kita banyak tak jumpa. So we really miss her. So this time dia balik dari luar negara. Okay, why don't we surprise her dekat airport. Beli balloon semua. And then we're like, oh, no, 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 let's make her cake. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Cepatlah. Wow, what about hello to your best friend? Oh, hello, hello. <laughs> We're late. Asma, we want to tell her about cake. She has a cake business, Gatulicious. Dia asyik buat cake untuk orang jemai, kita buat cake untuk dia. Buat dengan butter lah. Buat dengan butter. Mami, tolong. And kita orang memang tak pandai buat cake. Lepas tu dia macam, Mami nak tepung, Mami nak nak gula. Macam, Mami macam nak buat lah. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. 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 Like, throw away, okay? Just like one hand. Anyone? <laughs> we know that we were rushing. I have another idea. Ajipan tak? I dah lah kita guna yang Plan B. Our Plan B. So sekarang kita dah tersutuk ke masa tadi. Aji pun sampai lambat dari office dia. Is it right? I have to beli ni dulu. Brownie okay, mix. Fiery day dia okey lagi boleh guna lagi. Tak guna ni je lah. Tak payah lah bawah ni buat susah je. Ini bukan brownie nanti ini jadi kepek tau. Tak ada kepek. Macam apa? Sangat hati. Sangat. Okay. We see. Okay, Ma is going to turn out great. And then we want it to be extra sweet. So, kita sprinkle nama Asma dekat dalam brownies tu. Art, you know. It's our art. Saya dengan Aji ni memang kreatif. So, kita masukkan dalam oven tu together. Okay, bismillah. Okay. Hopefully, tak tak hangus. It will be sedap. So, kita tunggulah. Tunggu, tunggu, tunggu. Asma pun dah sampai. Itu yang kita orang panik. Dia dah touch down dah. Kita cakap, okay, tunggu, tunggu. Jangan keluar lagi, tunggu. We have a surprise for you. Kek dah siap semua. It looked, well, it looked a bit horrible. But it's okay. It tasted good. So, my sister pula macam... Hey, Mama, sedap tak? Bismillah. Bismillah. Okay, Bismillah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Semoga okay. sedap. Semoga. Hmm. Amin. Amin. Tak <laughs> Hmm, that's so soft. We quickly ambil the brownies and kita orang bawa dengan soup crater with an extra surprise which is balloon yang so funny. And it's really huge so we plan to give it to her dekat airport. So bila dah sampai kat airport tu, kita memang excited nak malukan dia. Vivi bawa balloon tu mula-mula, I dengan Vivi pun gaduh, you lah bawa, you lah bawa. Semua tak nak bawa kan because it's besar and quite attention seeking. Dear, I wrote you a song. Hey, Dari jauh kita orang cakap okay, siapa nampak Asma dulu dia menang. And I spot Asma first so I won. And when we saw her kita orang terus cakap piwi piwi <laughs> with a really big balloon. And uh, dia nampak kita orang pun dia macam ya Allah tak nak tengok sebab macam sangat malu nampak kita orang jerit-jerit macam tu. I appreciate sangat dia orang dua datang jumpa saya. Because I tahu Aji, dia memang busy lah. I know she has a lot of work. Vivi lagi lah macam with the kids, with Fatsal, with Abby. That's the thing with Vivi dengan Aji. Dia orang macam, they're more than my best friends tau. If I need anything or sebelum I need anything, I tak boleh cakap, dia orang, they can beat me. That's how we are. 
gym gym lah kan ya i like the call gym the crown yeah that's price for you sipalah seriously what is it So me bimbing Aji, kita orang every time ada masa je, terus kena pergi cafe makan. Sugar Rush ni one of our favourite places. Cepat-cepat daripada airport, mana lagi? So we came here. And they said ada surprise. So I said apalah lagi surprise diorang kan. Mima, are you ready? Jita tak sampai ni. Hello, Daddy. Yo, close your eyes. Apa ni? Even call each other Eva, Asma, Bibi, Aji, so Eva. They are dah jadi macam my sisters. You know, I cannot imagine my life tanpa dia orang. The best part about them is dia orang selalu make me want to be a better person. Dia selalu bagi I kata-kata semangat, remind me about agama. So I really like that in friendship. Cepatlah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's go on. Apostrophe Asma. And this is cut from. Ah, no, ini dia lah. Today is one of the days yang I'm really reminded tak kisah lah what goes on with your life. Kalau you ada family and friends, kalau apa tu pun ada masalah dalam hidup ni, sebenarnya okay tu. Bila I jumpa muka dia orang, I still happy again. Terus lupa, cause it's okay. Cut it with a smile. This is the surprise. Our friendship is more than gossip, more than lipstick colors, more than shopping. Whatever this like, this friendship, I want it to be everlasting. And one day, we all end up in trouble. What about you just talk about your story? My story? <laughs> we have a problem. What problem? Tomorrow, let me call away. Why are you signing up? Because everybody wants to hear the great views of Chit Chat with Nan. <laughs> Can you help me? Okay, let's get the brainstorm up. Okay, so what's the topic? You have nothing? No. Two? <laughs> I'm so yes. nervous. I don't do this. I, know, I have never, I, I always but not give talk. It's scary. Uh, okay, okay. So what about you just talk about your story? My story? Yeah, I'm going to talk about fashion. It's more fashion. Because it's fashion designers, right? They're fashion students. So they must not talk about fashion. Okay, okay, slides. You can have slides, no? Of course. Oh, just, just, like, just like the big words, like attitude. So your attitude's got to be right. You can do it keras, you can't do You know, my mind, if you want to do this, you better think of this as a business, not as okay. a hobby. Okay. okay. Second one is branding. Um, okay. And then marketing. I mean, this is all like you think it's obvious. Common sense. Common sense, but actually, you know, some people might not know. Okay. So I, I feel like maybe I should... Okay, up. maybe do it this way. Apa kata kita buat macam top five tips how to be a business savvy fashion designer? Design. Correct. Okay, cool. So, but you memang tak boleh give people tips on how to be a good fashion designer, creative. Because I'm not a fashion tak. designer. I'm a yes. Tell, you're a businesswoman. Okay. Okay, let's do that. So, top five tips to how to be a business savvy fashion okay. designer. By Vivi Yusof. All right, okay. And I think also in the beginning, the intro is sikit yung siapa. Okay. You know? Ini cerita lah, nama saya Vivi. So, saya jual baju, saya jual baju di fashion Bali. So I can do it. You boleh buat. I'm not going to freeze. You tak can freeze. Okay. Now you do my side, okay? Okay. Okay. I'll WhatsApp you. Okay. Bye. You can do it. I believe you. I can do it. You can do it. Coming up right now, though, is Republica ready to go right here on the 18th.
morning. Saya baru dari rumah, terus datang ke sini. Saya akan dapat interview uh, radio di Trax FM and now we're at the Conti. Sekejap lagi nak masuk dalam tu and they're going to interview me and this will be live. Yep, Breakfast and Businesses happens every single Tuesday. Today, we're talking to Vivi Yusof, Managing Director of FashionValet.com. Show ni, dia memanfaatkan ahli perniagaan, so CEOs and MDs. So, I am representing Fashion Valley, of course. Uh, so, nanti dia orang akan tanya macam-macam lah pasal Fashion Valley, macam mana saya mula, apa rintangan, apa yang um, apa highs and lows. And you're also venturing into television, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Did I read about that somewhere? We're actually filming for... Um, our reality show. Mm-hmm. It's mostly going to be about me, about uh, how I juggle work and also my personal life. Actually, uh, okay je, you know, they, Mary and Shaz make me feel very comfortable, senang de, uh, bercakap dengan orang semua. So, memang tak sedar pun yang setengah jam dah berlalu. So, yay! Survive! Thank you so much, Avivi, for joining us uh, this morning. Check out her website, fashionvalet.com. And we are out of here. Bye-bye! Fashion Valley bermula 2010 and masa itu kita ada 10 je nama je and Nurita Harith ialah salah satunya lah. So that's why we go way back in 2010. Dia ingat lagi masa I first-first datang kat dia, I was so nervous to think as well. I tak kenal dia. So I just know her work. You know, people talk about Nurita Harith, break her fashion, terkenal di Malaysia. So I nak sangat her brand and Alhamdulillah she she has faith in me. So kita orang dah bekerja sama dalam 6 tahun dah ever since Fashion Valley started day one. So tu I'll, I can never forget Nurita Hari. The cream, you have biru, pink, pink. and blue black. Yes. Yep. This is the whole look. Hmm. Right? This is the layout, the final design, okay. A and B, and other yang separate. So this year, dia punya Raya collection is floral. Dia pilih orchid, you know, very delicate flower, very beautiful flower. So her whole collection is very feminine. Jah, you model size, you try lah. Ni, I punya favourite ni. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, it's so beautiful. I dah pegang touch feel kejap lagi, nak try satu kot. I actually found material and the print which is orchid because saya nak dedicate collection ni to my grandmother which has passed away. Dia memang suka orchid. So it's just nice and I, I feel very personal to this collection because it's about her. The main collection memang pastel which is pastel pink, baby blue, mint green. But other than other side is that the color that I suka. I suka dark colors. Saya nak kasih macam to clients. Walaupun dia suka kat ini, tapi tak suka pastel, so dia boleh pilih yang color gelap. So, dia nampak slim sikit kan? That's the trick. Dia yeah, so special, right? So, looks familiar. Uh, looks familiar, right? Federal Highway. <laughs> yeah, semua semua kat FVT, they chose this one as okay. the... Ni, this okay. is their favorite one lah. If you know the the Malaysian fashion industry, you akan tahu kalau design tu, oh, you tahu tak? Itu mesti Nurita Hari punya. For the billboard, we really wanted to showcase her. Kita pilih satu saja design dia. And then, dia orang pilih Lia. This one baju kurung modern yang dia, dia ada macam kebaya punya feel. Tapi, dia, dia bawah tu dia modern. And then, ada print dia sekali. It's not too heavy and it's quite classy. Very simple. And I think semua wanita boleh appreciate. And I'm very happy that Fashion Valley boleh beri peluang kepada design untuk showcase their design like that big, you know, on a highway. Is it close now? I think we're almost there. Okay. I'm so excited to see the billboard. So, uh, it was me and my husband. We were so, so excited. She couldn't find where it is actually from gambar tau. Mana eh? So then, then when we realised it's actually after the gebang, and then we was like, oh my god, this is like prime location you know, on Federal Highway, you know? So much, and the traffic is crazy there, you know? So everyone must be now far. Hey! Wow, it's big! We did it, young! <laughs> I just want to say thank you to MV, you know, Fashion Valley, for giving me that opportunity to be on a billboard, you know. I mean, I can't imagine me doing it for myself because it's just not not even achievable for us. I mean, we one day, but you know, who knows, but Fashion Valley has given us that opportunity and it's amazing. Lah.
Christian religion, so it's very creative and, and it's very fun. Tadi pun masa kita orang sampai, um, we were greeted by the staff and the Limpok Wing people and they're really nice and they, they try to make us feel more comfortable and more relaxed. So sekejap lagi, we're all going to go to the hall and give a talk. Pray for me! Leo Speak Up would like to introduce our panel of speakers, Sazi Falak, Vivi Yusof, and Dato Tiffany Marie Lim. Fashionballet.com. How many of you know it? All right. Okay, so my marketing team is doing a good job. All right. Pada pendapat saya, Fashion Valley is memang a one-stop fashion store that is online. Pada masa tu saya tak begitu kenal Vivi Yusof. Along the, our journey dalam uh, industri fashion ni, kita mula mengenali each other dan kita mula berkenalan dan we became really good friends dan um, saya memang inspired sangat by her and she is so cute, dia memang seorang yang comel, tapi at the same time, a very good leader. Uh, before you start your brand, or what you should think about, so number one is attitude. Okay, so when you're in uni um, now, you probably have good grades, you know, you're probably the most popular student. Um, everybody knows you here. But when you go out, the real world might not know you. So you're going to face a lot of rejection, but, but really, the real world is that you got to work hard. And you gotta, you gotta be prepared to start from the bottom. I actually didn't know her before. I also didn't know Fashion Valley, but it's pretty amazing to hear what she achieved. It's like, it's pretty amazing. Nothing is impossible and nothing is big enough. You can do anything um, with, with the right planning and find someone who's good at it to compliment you. And together, you know, you can, you can be the next Carl Lagerfeld. Yeah. <laughs> So, daripada dia cerita, daripada first dia begin, uh, memang banyak bagi idea lah. It's so great because it was so inspiring for me to see such a confident woman, to see someone who just started from nothing, from from a blog and just a few brands in her pocket and she's able to inspire other women. So, I love that. Okey, kita tinggalkan Vivi dengan tugas-tugasnya di pejabat. Dengannya, pengarah kreatif dan breaker fashion airy berada di Shenzhen. Buat apa agaknya mereka di sana, ya? Jom mintai. Dari pagi tadi, Andy pick us up. We decided to go early lunch. Sebenarnya macam breakfast lah, tapi makan breakfast banyak-banyak macam lunch. And then just to prepare for our day ahead lah. I actually memang excited sangat nak pergi kilang dia because dua tahun lepas memang dah pergi China dah tapi masa tu kilang tu tengah renovate lagi. Memang kita orang discuss about Raya this year 2016. Pasal Raya kan ada dekat kita orang bagi some new design, pilih kain and everything. Pasal tahun ni ini buat macam lagi besar, ada banyak lagi design. The pieces yang we create for Airy ni, it's not something that you boleh pakai masa raya je. You boleh pakai after raya juga. I decided not to release by look. Bukan satu set. Like kan, selalunya raya macam baju kurung ke, baju kebaya selalu jual sekali kan, top dengan bottom. Tapi untuk saya, it's not just like you beli satu look ni, so you akan nampak satu look ni je. Jadi maksudnya boleh mix and match lah. That is one of the things yang I tekankan untuk raya collection for Airy lah. One piece yang you beli daripada Airy, you boleh pakai dengan macam-macam benda you sendiri or like other design for Airy juga lah kan. Yeah. Trip ke Shenzhen kali ini tanpa kehadiran Vivi sebab Vivi teringin sangat pulang ke kampungnya di Ipoh. Apa agaknya ada di sana ya? Dengan kesibukan kat bandar tu sometimes I feel it'll be nice to go back 
to your roots. Tengok macam mana your parents, your grandparents duduk dulu berbesar kat mana. So that's why I said, jomlah mami kita pergi Ipoh tengok rumah opah. Kita on free this weekend so why not kan? Datang kat kampung Kebayang, kampung opah kat Ipoh Perak. Kat sini lah tempat opah duduk dulu. My mom pun besar kat sini. Ni lah kampung Kebayang. Di kampung ni ni sono di bandar semua kena beli. Ayah ni lah KL and kehidupan kampung kan. It's quite nice here, very simple, very easy, very calm. Mariam dengan Daniel memang tak pernah atas sini, so this is their first time dekat rumah Nyang diorang yang dia tak pernah jumpa. You know who Nyang is? Nyang is Opa's mummy. That's mummy's opa. You don't understand. Okay, the first thing I masuk bila masuk rumah, I pergi beli opa. Ni dulu kata opa. Oh my god. Dan bila I balik kampung, dia tidur sini, lepas tu dia seraih tidur sini. Kita borak-borak and... Oh, I miss her so much. Opa meninggal kat hospital. Masa tu, Mami nak pergi semayang kat surau kat bawah hospital tu. I tengok Opa tu dah macam dah nazak sangat lah. So, I turun bawah, I panggil my mum. And then, Opa dah macam really nazak. And then, Mami pegang tangan Opa. Mami ucap dua kali masyadah dengan Opa. And then, Opa just passed away. Tiba line line tu dah... You know, di... Ini kerusi Opa. Dia selalulah ada towel dia tu, yang good morning towel tu. Lepas tu, dia pakai dia punya kain batik semua di sini. Lepas tu, dia cakap, pergi ambil air seratus aku tu. That's hundred plus, air seratus. <laughs> ini, ini lah Opa. Ini Tok Ya. Ini Tok Nan, our relative. Bila I fikir sama my mom, kadang-kadang I terfikir juga kalau she lost her mom. So one day I might lose my mom. I tak boleh bayangkan hidup I <laughs> without her. <laughs> Rindunya pada opah, senyumnya, tawanya, kenangan bersamanya akan terus saya abadikan dalam memori dan kongsikan bersama anak-anak suatu hari nanti. Tanpa saya sedari, kehidupan saya dengan adanya seorang opah di sisi membentuk keperibadian saya hari ini. Walaupun tiada lagi, kasih dan sayang pada opah tetap di hati selama-lamanya. Love, Vivi. So, I tengok ada yang uh, get inspired by nasi lemak pun ada daripada makanan. Oh. Yes, like, got your orange juice juga. Mana? Dah haus. Sometimes, you want your pork. Where's the vegetable oil? Rumah kata, Mayu. I can't talk. I talk in front of 200 orang. Are we done? We're done. Okay.